Hi and welcome. I know you don't usually get to see my face, <laughs> but I wanted to show you the top that I'm wearing today because I'm going to take some inspira colour inspiration from this uh, top. It's got blue, lovely pale blue, pale pink, and I even put lipstick on earlier actually, but it's rubbed off, I've had lunch. And also I've teamed it with some really pretty pink earrings that I made quite a while back. So this is gonna be my colour inspiration. So let's see what we're gonna do. Let's get in. So we're going to be stamping with this fabulous new stamp set from Stampin' Up. And it's called Gallery. It has a die set to match. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing with it. As I said, it's my first play. And so this is like a really honest approach. This is, this is you seeing what I would normally do when I get a new stamp set. And how I get to know it. And... Because it's a photopolymer stamp set, I'm going to just pop a couple of stamping mats under there. And let's get started. So hello everybody joining on the live. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you for coming in. And let's take a closer look at these two stamps. So this main floral has two stamps. So it's two-step stamping. So that just adds an extra bit of depth to the imagery. Then we have these floral bits, which I've got a feeling that can be stamped over the top of that one. So we'll figure that one out in a second as well. So pop that one there and that one in there. Sometimes it helps to, if you, if you know something goes in a particular direction, it's helpful to sort of place them on the block, on blocks so that you kind of remember how they work. So this is another large one, but this is made up of a few different flowers. It's got about three flowers in there, a little bit of sort of foliage, and a little bud there. And then you've got this great big leaf, which... On initial look I'm thinking how am I gonna how am I gonna work that one out? Oh, what if I can swap that one for that one? Put that one on there instead. Hmm, might work. Okay, right, hello everybody. So as I said, I was gonna take some inspiration from the outfit that I have on that has pinks and blues and a little bit of yellow so I'm going to grab some pale pinks and some blues and yellow and uh, let's see this obviously uh, seaside spray I'm thinking so I'll do a few there actually I won't, I won't use pool party because my outfit doesn't really have that aquary blue on it it's more of that that's that sort of blue and it's actually got a little bit of misty moonlight on my top as well so I think a little bit of misty less of a peachy let's take that out so I think those colours we'll go for first absolutely good morning Cindy it's a nice way to wake up isn't it I'm also going to be having a play with the new laser cut paper as well because that's a great way to bring in some extra bits of colour. So I've got Blushing Bride here. Excuse my fingernails, I'm mid getting rid of the old nail varnish. <laughs> Oops. Hi Wendy. Oh that's fine, that's fine. Oh no, wrong one. I want the big one first. I think. Okay, so if we aim for doing a design right through the middle, just to kind of get started. Now it looks slightly blotchy because this ink pad is quite juicy. A little bit juicy, juicy. Juicy, Lucy. I'm making up phrases now. Now, because I haven't got a second device, Oh, I could have a second device. I've just got to go and grab my daughter's 
comments for blood. That will mean I can see your comments properly then. Okay, so there we go. Right, so that's quite a pretty flower. I'm just going to wipe this one off because I want to do this one in a darker pink. So I've got a flirty flamingo here. But equally, it would look nice in the cocoa rose to do this layer. But I want a bit more of the brightness because I've got pink, brighter pink in my top. So if you missed the beginning of this video, I'm, I'm taking inspiration from what I'm wearing today to stamp this image. Now, first time stamping this, so yes, I'm a little bit off on that one, but let's have another go. Let's see if I can... To be fair though, I don't think it matters greatly if you, <laughs> if you don't get it spot on. I think it's, uh, it is meant to be impressionistic, so I don't think, uh, I don't think the stamping police are going to come after you if you don't get it quite right. Ah, thank you, Annika. Yes, I do use Stampin' Up's DSP. I do. Yep. Yeah. If you watched my unboxing from earlier, I, I bought some of the masculine one because I quite like the look of it. So, yes, it's very much watercolour or very, it's what I call very painterly, this stamp set. It's got very much a watercolour vibe to it. So that's looking really pretty. I like that. Okay, so just look on my top to see what other colours I've got on here. I've got a brighter pink there. So I'm wondering if I stamp this smaller one here in the flirty flamingo. And then I might do the second stamp that's supposed to be used with it in Magenta Madness. So who said about six months? Oh no, Christine, I don't know where you got that number from. These are going to be available in January. Yeah, less, less than two months. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we don't work that far in advance. Okay, right, let's bring in some of Magenta Madness, because we all love a bit of Papa Pink in our lives. Now, the only thing is that this is going to stain my thing, my photopolymer stamp. So, I have heard a tip that if you stamp your first inking in a lighter colour and kind of almost dye the stamp with a different colour first, it means that it sometimes sometimes the ink won't stain as badly we'll see i'm not sure if that's going to happen because magenta madness is known for its virulence and brightness so. the key is always not to push too hard into your ink pads because that where they become a bit frustrating to use is when you've you've dyed the whole stamp so if you just make sure that you're getting ink on the image itself, not on the whole stamp. And that comes from just tap, tap, tapping on the ink pad, not pushing down too hard. So for, for those of you who are new to stamping, that's one of the things that people probably find frustrating to start off with, is just learning how much to tap and how much pressure to put into that ink pad. Now I'm looking at this image here and I'm thinking this could do with being green, these two little leaves here. But So if you are using pens to colour in this image, you can then have that option of going green with those little leaves there. But as I don't, I won't. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. So I've got this lovely image here. I'm wondering if I could tuck in some 
Magical Elements. So, let's throw in some Misty Moonlight. Now I'm going to actually just ink up, I'm going to deliberately try and miss out that leaf. See that one there? Because um, I don't really want that leaf in there. So. Rub new photopolymer stamps on your skin to take off any... Oh, yes, you can also rub, rub use a rubber as well. Oh, I hope things get better for you, Christine. Right, so... Just do that again. So just inking... There. I'm going to tuck that in into there and tuck that one in there so you're getting kind of like a seaside not seaside spray a yeah seaside spray kind of color even though i'm not using seaside spray i'm mis i'm using misty moonlight Make sure I haven't got ink on there. Tuck that one in there. Tuck that one in there. Right, I think I'm going to stop there because I want to leave some space for those leaves. And I'm trying to decide what colour leaves. I want to do a yellowy leaf actually. So now my issue is that there's this stalk here <laughs> that looks like if I just stamped it on its own, it's going to look a little bit odd. So I'm going to try and ink up this leaf so that I can use a leaf on its own. That just makes it a little bit more usable. So there we go. Oh, that looks pretty. Actually, it's not too hard to do that. Oh, nice. Oh dear. I went and inked up that bit as well. Okay, got to focus, Ruth. Come on. I know. Let's cover it up with a stamp. There we go. <laughs> See, everything's fixable. Let's get another yellow leaf in there. Another one in there. I think I'll do two more of these leaves and then I'm going to switch to the this other side and see how those ones look. I'm finding actually it's easier to ink it from approaching it from the corner. Okay, so let's just do this leaf now. This one's got a lovely curve on it. So let's make use of that. Curling out from there.
Yeah, good tip about the verse mark, Christine. Thanks for that. Satisfying. Okay, right, let's stop there because <gasps> I want to put the stenciling in. So, I'll just tell you what this paper is for so that you can look out for it when it gets released in January. It's called the Dandy Laser Cut Paper. And I want to use one of these to create. Background. I think I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to use the new Stampin' Up brush. Okay, so first time doing this, guys, with the stamping up brushes, just getting a bit of colour onto there. And so what I'm going to do now is look for the spaces that need some more. In I go. Now the great thing about these repeat patterns is that if you then need to move it over, what you need to do is line up the stencil with what you've already blended and then carry on. So I'm just making to pull that image across the page there. See that just looks like all one piece there. Fill in this area here. Fill in up here. And now, because I want to carry that through, I may as well line it up. I can see quite easily where I need to match it. Helps with the continuity of it all. Just going to do a little bit down there. Is the sound okay, guys? Because sometimes I have problems with this phone and the sound. Can you see that pattern okay? An ultrasound cleaner. Oh, what's an ultrasound cleaner? Hi, Diane. I've just said, can anyone, has anyone got problems hearing me? <laughs> yeah, this is a phone that I don't usually use. So, um, yeah. If the sound is not great, with it so my son has got the my son who's gone to school has got the phone that I usually use for my lives and I wanted to come on today in the afternoon so because I had some time so 
Okay, there we go. How do you like that then for a first little play? Right, let's have a look at... I'm going to have another go with another one. Well, I like the idea of possibly stamping fairly randomly with some of the, the bigger imagery and then with the this one doing this blue but over the top of a, some lighter colour. So if we get the so saffron and just stamp a whole load of the, this big flower over it. And see where that takes us. Is everyone okay? Everyone with me still? Oh dear, I've just had a message from somebody whose husband's been taken to hospital. Oops. Right, so some nice soft yellow just to create some lovely bright colour under here so this layer is like the base layer so it doesn't have to be too careful you don't have to be too careful in terms of how you stamp this layer this is just about getting some colour on And I think I'm actually going to bring back, I did get out petal pink earlier, didn't I? And then I put it back again. I'm actually going to use that this time. So, just get some of this lovely warm pink down. And again, as I said, it's not really thinking too carefully about how this colour goes down. It's just about getting colour down in the background. Okay. So then I think this... Oh no, hold on. Let's... No, that one. That's the one that goes with it. No, I don't think I'm going to stamp that one. I will stamp some of this one. Just to fill in some of these white spaces that we can see here. Right, there we go. Get some of that lovely peach down now. You're wanting pineapple wings now. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm wondering if I can be brave and do a layer of pink over the top of that. I think I'm just going to go for it, you know, guys. But again, I'm just going to miss out that leaf because it feels a bit weird seeing a leaf in pink when you've got other things in pink.
Oh, look at this, guys. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Oh, did I eat that up chicken? No, I don't think I have. It's worth just double checking when you're inking up. Oh, I've just got it on that leaf now. So this is lovely lipstick. And I've stamped over across the page petal pink and so saffron. And I'm doing the second generation, so you're getting that lighter, lighter look there. So I know it takes just a couple of extra seconds to ink it up carefully but it is worth it and you see how I'm twisting the image around so I haven't got the image always going in the same direction and I'm making the stems kind of meet up so it looks like they're all part of one image and even when you do the second generation you can make it look as if it's coming from behind that image there Nearly there, everybody. Just got a couple more to go, I think. Right, so which one is people are people's favourite image out of this stamp then, this stamp set? We've got the big flower, the medium flower, and then this bigger design. What do you think, guys? Super pretty. Oh, I'm wondering. Should we do a little bit of inking through that? Actually, let's do it yellow. You like the big one, you like the colours. So, let's line that up. Just do a little bit of... Oh, This pattern reminds me so much of Orla Keeley. If anyone's into Orla Keeley and her designs. Oh, yes, a small dragonfly would look lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, so you could have the leaves all going in up in the same direction, but I'm actually going to flip it and have the leaves then coming back down away. Me. Yeah, Tashana, you are so right. <laughs> when you looked at those stencils and thought of me, <laughs> I looked at those stencils and was like, oh wow. There you go. Right. 
Right, so now what I'd like to do is have a very quick play with seeing how to um, maybe mix then this stamp set with an existing stamp set that we're kind of very, very familiar with and see how it works. So I've got beautiful friendship here. Oh, I've got, oh, very vanilla. I didn't realise I had that. So, um, we'll go with a beautiful French. I might change up the colour scheme, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So, I just love the way that this looks very painterly, and so does this. And I'm wondering whether or not that stamp might actually fit well with that one. Let's have a look. Shall we see if it works, guys? Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. I love it when um, you stop playing and you go, ooh, peaches. It reminds me of peaches. Oh, P, you want peaches for this? Ah, okay, no worries. So, that's the help as a tile. So coral, maybe. Well, those are both similar. Am, am, am. A little bit of cinnamon cider, maybe. Um. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um. Where's my peach? Where's my peach there? Hmm. I'll just try some calypso coral first and see what happens. Oh, I'm just going to do four different kind of what's the words? Four different layouts. Oh, lovely, Anna. Yeah, it'd be lovely to see that. Okay, so this is Calypso Coral, everybody, we're using here. It looks like it's in varying strengths, but that might be to do with how the stamp actually works. So what I want to try is this flower over the top of that area there and see. Oh my word, that is perfect. Right, I just feel like I need to fill in that, that one there. With a little bit of colour. Oh, that's better. Maybe fill that one in with a bit of colour as well. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. So now, this is, this is, this is a tough bit of time, isn't it? Just going to do a little bit of stamping over with this one, see how this looks. Nice. So although Calypso Coral and Terracotta Tile do look very similar, they actually are not. Um, they look pretty cool together. So with this one, I'm actually going to just stamp the flower in the middle there. I've just stamped off one more just to help get that darker. So then we've also got this lovely, this lovely flower here. So I 
do that and put some pepper. I think that looks nice. Make a couple there. Peeking out over there. Lipso coral to do the centres then of these pale pink flowers. It just helps give it that beautiful depth that you want on oops, want on something that looks like it's been painted. Because we rarely paint with just one colour, we work, you know, mix colours in together. So that's how you get that kind of effect. Okay. So let's have a look at this image here and let's see if there's any way that we can dissect or just use, partially use any of these. Or we just go, you know what, let's use this one because it's easier. <laughs> so let's use this one because I find this stamp is so much easier to kind of fit in around things. And I've said, as I've said before, sometimes doing sort of four different little mini arrangements just can help you figure out layouts and the composition that you like the most. You might not like all four, but it's nice to then play with the different shapes and, and so on. Okay. That's starting to look good. And then of course we have these lovely little leaves that are great for tucking in. Hi, Anne. Right. Feels like it needs just another colour to lift it. So I'm thinking just a little bit maybe of so saffron, possibly as little bits of added texture as the centres of things, and also maybe a few leaves in the background. So I'm just going to add a little bit of it's probably not very clear. It's a bit of a dull day here, and I'm using artificial light as well as the sunlight, so it's looking a bit. 
the colours are probably not as honest as if I was stamping in pure daylight. So, but the the little bit of yellow is just helping to lift that detail design there. And then this, this, oh, sorry, <laughs> I've gone off screen, sorry. So I've just done the yellow there and there. And then this one is great for just tucking in to little areas, little corner areas like that. So there we go. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got a daylight bulb in mine, but uh, it's still causing shadows and things. So a bit tricky. Just a bit of a grey day today. Right, let's get that little leaf. So there's this nice little leaf here. Swift out. So we we'll focus on this one first and then I'll move it on there. Oh, are they? Oh, that's good, Anne. It's very, this colour scheme is very vintagey, isn't it? It's quite antique looking. You know what it needs now, don't you, everybody? That's true, Linda. Yeah, very vanilla is, yeah, automatically quite vintage looking, isn't it? Oh, I was going to do some dots, but I've just realised, actually, stencil might be fun. Hmm. I might, might stencil some and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, oh, I could stencil some, script another, and dot another one. So let's see. Let's see what our favourite bit of finishing off is. Two. I like that. Hi, Navarana. Thank you. 
and then we've got the this one as well. Which I don't think we need a lot of. Just a tiny faint amount. Oh, thank you, Sabine. Oh, that's lovely. It's very faint in the background, but it's, it's very subtle. I'll try and take some photos and so you guys can see the, the subtlety of it all. Because the lighting is says not brilliant. Actually, I wonder if I switch this light off. But sometimes my phone will compensate and it will show it up better. It's a bit tricky. So you guys can let me know which is your favourite. So we've got this one with the dots. So one, two with the stencil, the Orlikili stencil as I call it. Three with the, what we're going to call that, starbursty stencil. And then four with the script. So very, very Versailles every time. <laughs> oh, I know it's so good, isn't it? Does just satisfy your very Versailles needs, doesn't it? <laughs> so what was that about soft spring stamp set? Would add some beautiful drapery imagery and watercolour. It would, yes. Soft spring, if you've still got that one. Okay. Oh, is it Faith? <laughs> Lovely. Thanks, Christine. Okay, so we've got uh, which was the first one? That was the number one, just having my first ever play. Okay, and it was inspired by my top, just saying. Okay, so um, Jen's just got very Versailles, and Inika is about to get it, aren't you, Inika? <laughs> and then two was with the yellow. Uh, so this is okay. Oh no, let me go through the colours again, sorry. So Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo for the pink there. So saffron, seaside spray, and then for these flowers we used flirty flamingo and a little bit of magenta madness. Okay. So then with this one we went with the background layer. So I know I know it doesn't look like it's in the background so much now, but it is. It's a, the first background layer was so saffron and petal pink. You can just do lots and lots of flower stamping, and then the more detailed flower I did in magenta madness and then stamped twice. So I did the first generation there and then the second generation a little bit further over. So it was really nice and you've got, it's still bright, but it's lighter. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. And then this one, th so those two were stamped onto Whisper White and this one has been stamped onto Vanilla and going very vintagey in color scheme. We've got terracotta tile, Cinnamon cider, petal pink, and somewhere on my desk there is calypso coral. So that's the, the four main colours. But then we also brought in a little hint of so saffron as well, just to lift it up a little bit more um, to create that nice lightness and brightness. So yeah, one two is drooling and three gives you a warm friendly feeling well we love warm friendly feelings don't we it's the best best type i don't like pinks but that one is so pretty with the so saffron oh great fantastic i would swear that you use lovely lipstick ah yeah no i don't have lovely lipstick anymore so i do have some lipstick that is lovely but i don't have lovely lipstick Thank you guys. Just having a quick sip of my drink. So, thank you for joining me for my first ever play with Art Gallery. So, this is going to be available 
beginning of January 2021. That's quite freaky to be able to say that. God willing, 2021. And uh, it's available for demonstrators in December. And I just happened to be able to, not just happened, sorry. I was able to purchase these early, earlier because I went to on stage at the weekend and I placed my order on, what was it, Thursday night, I think I placed my order. So um, there we go. Uh, that's what you called it when you were making it. What did I call it, Sheila? Oh, did I say lovely lipstick? Oh, you know what? Probably. Probably. Sorry about that. No, it's Magenta Madness. It might be because I miss that colour so much. It's in my brain. <laughs> Sorry, Sheila, if I confused you. There we go. Right, thank you so much for seeing you, uh, joining in, rather. Lovely to see you. And I know it's sort of odd time for me to be on but I just really wanted to get on here and play with these I should be back later with a uh, one sheet proper one sheet wonder well these are one sheet wonders but I, I might come back later this evening um, and, and do another bit of stamping with you guys but um, have a lovely day take care bye uh, take care everybody <laughs> goodbye <laughs>